back. She was a key witness in one of the most notorious excessive force cases against police in recent South Florida history. But just days after testifying against a police officer, Jessica Mooney was arrested herself and was herself badly beaten by law enforcement officers. And now she tells her story for the very first time to Local 10 investigator Bob Norman in a report you'll see only on Local 10. A homeless man pushed down, then slapped by a Fort Lauderdale police officer. Get up. It was a video seen around the world and it led to a highly publicized trial. He showed aggression towards me. For Officer Victor Ramirez. All I did was try and help somebody. 24 year old Jessica Mooney was there. Her boyfriend shot the video and she testified at that trial. I testified because it was the right thing to do because the cop was wrong. Not guilty. But just eight days after the officer's acquittal in March, she says it happened to her. These photos were taken after an incident between Mooney and Broward Sheriff's deputies. I mean, how does it make you feel when you see these I don't pictures? even like want to see them. It happened after Fort Lauderdale police arrested her for allegedly failing to pay a restaurant bill while she walked home with her five month old baby. Mooney's attorney, Scott Hecker. The allegation was that she handed her child to a um, stranger, hold the child. Eventually she was arrested for neglect and petty theft. The theft charge was dropped when it was determined she'd in fact paid the bill. A misdemeanor neglect charge remains pending. Moody admits she had been drinking that night and police report she was unruly. During fingerprinting at the jail, deputies alleged Mooney was yelling profanities. She claims a deputy named Amanda Marino was verbally abusing her. I asked her for her badge number or her name. Her hair was covering it. She said she moved the deputy's hair. One finger. She smashed my face on the fingerprinting thing. That's when three or four more deputies jumped in, but her memory is hazy. I don't know whether I lost consciousness or if my body just went into shock. I, I believe I had a footprint on my rib cage. Cuts everywhere inside my mouth from just being brutalized. I just never want to see anything like this happen again. Like, can we stop for one second? Sure. Marino and other deputies told prosecutors that Mooney, quote, violently pulled Marino's hair, forcing them to free the deputy from a grip. There is surveillance video of the incident, but officials are refusing to release it, citing a recent legal opinion from the Office of Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, who says the release of such video compromises government security. You see her hand go up to the front and go like this. Attorney Hecker was able to view the video and says it contradicts the deputy's story. And it's not a fist and it's not a grabbing motion as the deputies say, it's moving away. Mooney said it was only after she was assaulted that she grabbed the deputy's hair in self-defense. The surveillance video doesn't show what happened once she went to the ground. Everybody on top of her, she's underneath these people. You see arms move. Once Deputy Marino was extricated, she went back towards Mooney. It appears as though she's getting ready to kick the defendant, and as she lifts her legs, she falls. The deputy falls. The deputy falls on her rear end. The state attorney's office, citing a lack of evidence, chose not to file charges against any of the deputies in the case. But Mooney has obtained a civil attorney. It never should have happened. The only people who were violent in this case were the BSO detention deputies. In Fort Lauderdale, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. While Mooney suspects that the incident may have been retribution for testifying in the police case, Bob tells us he found no evidence that shows that to be the case. BSO refused comments, saying the incident remains under internal investigation.